Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Cookie. Huge thanks to Cookie and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Cookie reached out asking for a deck focused around Quintorius Loremaster, and I was more than happy to oblige. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Quintorius Loremaster is a 5-mana 3-5 legendary elephant cleric with Vigilance. He makes it so that at the beginning of our end step, we exile a non-creature, non-land card from our graveyard. We then create a 3-2 white and red spirit creature token. Additionally, we may pay 3 mana, tap Quintorius, and sacrifice a spirit. If we do, we may choose a card exiled with Quintorius. We may cast that spell this turn without paying its mana cost, and if it would go to the graveyard, we put it on the bottom of our library instead. So we want ways to filter cards into our graveyard, so looting effects will be good. We also want our deck to be mostly non-creatures as well. Now, when I built this deck, I didn't go for any big splashy spells. I wanted to have the ability to cast any spell from our hand and not cheat it from the graveyard with Quintorius. So, if you're looking for crazy combos, this isn't the video for you. But what we do have is a lot of value with spells that we can cast over and over again from our hand or from exile. In addition to that, we have our handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate and one sudden I win card. As I'm sure you've heard by now, this channel is sponsored by Ultima Guard. Ultima Guard is famous for their boulder, and they now have the new boulder and tray. Designed to carry both your commander deck and enough dice to satisfy anyone but a dice goblin, you can get yours in a variety of colors, like the frosted ones seen here. Find out if your local game store carries the Ultima Guard boulder and tray, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. One more thing before we get started. I've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV over on my other channel, Musings by Danon, every weekday in the afternoons. If you want to pop in and ask some questions, chat about Commander, or just hang out, you're more than welcome to. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, Marsh Flats, Sacred Foundry, Spectator Seating, Sundown Pass, Clifftop Retreat, Alpine Meadow, Sacred Peaks, Battlefield Forge, Needle Verge Pathway, Temple of Triumph, Boros Garrison, Scavenger Grounds, Myriad Landscape, Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic Expanse, Reliquary Tower, eight mountains, and eight plains make up our land base for this deck. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Conviction, Boros Signet, Fire Diamond, Marble Diamond, Mine Stone, Felwar Stone, Chromatic Lantern, Decanter of Endless Water, Wayfarer's Bauble, Solemn Simulacrum, Seething Song, and Mana Geyser make up the mana ramp for this deck. Thrilling Discovery, Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, Big Score, Thrill of Possibility, Unexpected Windfall, Campus Renovation, Heartwarming Redemption, your Temple is Under Attack, Enlightened Tutor, Reconstructing History, Open the Armory, and Illuminate History help us to dig through our deck and find answers and win conditions. Release from Memory, Boros Charm, Generous Gift, Swords to Plowshares, Chaos Warp, Path to Exile, Reprieve, Abraid, Deflecting Palm, Cathartic Pyre, Teferi's Protection, 
Flawless Maneuver, Tybalt's Trickery, Angel's Grace, Wild Magic Surge, Rip Apart, and Selfless Spirit help to protect ourselves and interact with what our opponents are doing. Delayed Blast Fireball, Blasphemous Act, and Farewell all help to reset the board as needed. Fire Song and Sunspeaker, Sunforger, Quintorius Field Historian, Lorehold Excavation, Lorehold Command, Hoffrey Ghost Forge, Balefire Liege, Forge Anew, Haunted Library, Drog Skull Reinforcements, Clarion Spirit, Lorehold Apprentice, Moonshaker Cavalry, and Nalfishni make up the core of our deck. But we've also got Anointed Procession and Mondrak Glory Dominus as token doublers. That's right, this is a secret commander deck with Fire Song and Sunspeaker, as well as Sunforger providing extra value. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 36 lands and 14 pieces of ramp, right on target. 13 pieces of card advantage, 17 pieces of interaction, 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Farewell and Scavenger Grounds, no sudden I win cards, but lots of value. Specifically, value from Sunforger. There are a lot of cards in the deck to help us find Sunforger, and even some cards to help protect it once it's on the battlefield. Not to mention the fact that once we cast a spell with Sunforger, we can use Quintorius to exile that spell, and then recast it again on a later turn, putting it on the bottom of our library, where we can then cast it again with the Sunforger. Of course, if that doesn't work out, we've got a small spirit package in the deck, along with some token doublers. We could just create an army of spirits and then slam the new Moonshaker cavalry and kill the table that way. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this deck turned out. It almost felt like a feather deck as I was building it. And yes, Sunforger was the reason that most of the spells in the deck had a mana value of 4 or less. You could absolutely build Quintorius Loremaster with bigger spells if you wanted. I've even seen some builds of him as a Super Friends deck. Are you building a Quintorius Loremaster deck? What path are you taking it? leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my dear cute stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I'll build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Daniel, Steve, Kevin, Alex, Cookie, Nick, Borgie, Jake, Exiled Rogue, and MedMen. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.